Cyberpunk 2077 has been delayed again. New games announced by EA and Apex Legends coming to Steam has been confirmed. Last week EA Play announced so many new games but we got more to it and that is what we're going to talk about in this very new episode of Top Gaming News. For those of you guys who don't recognize me, I am Given Madness just with no facial hair. We are seeing so many different video games coming out every single month in every single year but not so many Indian games coming out. But there are some games that are coming very soon and they were also a part of Steam Summer Game Festival as they released free demos of it. The Bonfire 2 Uncharted Shores is a really cool looking strategy game where you build, craft and gather resources and place buildings and design your own city layout during the daytime and at nighttime fight monsters like wolves, spiders, chupacabra and tribal enemies for your settlement. There are enemies with different boss types and the enemies are random at night. I believe if you go forward, it will be difficult to kill those enemies to save your settlement. Now once this game fully releases, we'll get to see what this game can actually bring. Forgotten Fields. This is another story game where the main character who is a struggling author trying to get his creativity back goes back to his childhood home one last time before it is sold. He visits old friends, relives some old memories and bring back the creativity that he believes he has lost. I love these type of story games because you get to know the characters and it's really amazing to see how the story progresses and understand what they're going through and that is one of the things that I like about video games and me being a fan of single player games, I would definitely love to check this out. We also have Razi and Ancient Epic which I've talked about in the previous episodes and they also release an updated demo for Steam Summer Game Festival and this game is probably the most awaited game of all time at least in my opinion and it should be for everyone because this looter slasher game is something that I would love to get my hands into and play it. I would love to play this game all day long because it's one of those type of games and I would love to see how the story goes with the gods that we know. So these are the Indian games that are coming straight to Steam and it's coming very soon and I would love to check all of these games out. Making games is much more harder than you think so we should be supporting all these Indian developers so that in the future they could make more amazing games just like this or maybe improve the game and make something more greater. Cyberpunk 2077 which was delayed earlier this year for a September release has now been delayed again for a November release for November 19th and fans they are not happy. The first delay was a big one as it was because COVID-19 outbreak as well as they want to make sure that the game is 100% good to go. Now most importantly since this game is delayed the post launch content which is supposed to be coming as well has also been delayed and that includes a possible multiplayer. Now they call it expansions instead of DLCs because this expansion is much bigger than DLCs and as far as multiplayer is concerned that is coming a little bit later in the future. But without a doubt whatever the plan was for multiplayer release that must be delayed at this moment. So apparently this game is 100% done but they're just trying to tweak some settings and polish the game good enough so that they can try to release a bug free version of this game. The vice president of CD Projekt Red says that they don't want players to experience any kind of these bugs when the game launches and they know that it is the worst thing to happen when a video game launches. So it's a good thing that they're working on it and I hope that they do fix all those things. The most important thing they should be also taking care of is the PC port of the game and hopefully the game doesn't crash. Issues such as crashing while launching the game or crashing while we playing the game are some of the things that PC players always experience a lot of time. So I hope the game is optimized good enough for PC players so that everybody has a good time. Are you guys still excited for Cyberpunk 2077? Let me know in the comments below. Will you guys be pre-ordering the game or will be waiting for some time to buy the game? EA are bringing some really cool games to us as they presented it in EA Play and one of the biggest game in my opinion was Star Wars Squadrons. Can I just say how cool this game looks? This game not only has a single player but has a massive multiplayer. Massive in the sense of how many modes and how big those modes are and not based on player count. This is a space combat simulation game that many fans always wanted to have. The multiplayer mode in this game is insane and really exciting to be a part of where you can go all solo or team up and take on these modes. One of the biggest modes is Fleet Battle which is a multi-stage session where a 5 person squadron will take on dog battle in the center of the map then attack or defend a medium sized capital ship and in the end attack or defend the flagship to earn the victory. This is so exciting to see and I would love to get my hands on this one. The game is coming out on October 2nd on all platforms and the biggest plus point, it will have crossplay which is amazing. 
but nothing can match the hype of Joseph Farah's new game It Takes Two, which he says will blow your f minds. Previously, they released Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons and A Way Out and both of these games are very very successful and I like them personally. And now they're releasing this new game called It Takes Two. This game is a co-op adventure platformer where a child creates two imaginary characters of their parents who are on a divorce and you will control both of these characters on an epic adventure. Joseph is one hell of a human being and I think his energy alone will sell this whole game and I would love to play this game which will probably blow my minds off. Rocket Arena is another cool 3v3 multiplayer game which got a new trailer where you have rockets. The game has some really amazing map designs where you will battle each other with rockets and a lot of flying in the air it seems. With it being third person and it having rockets which is the selling point of this game, I would definitely love to try this one and I'm so excited when this game comes out. So these are some of the best games that EA announced in EA Play and I would love to check all of these games out and even more that they announced as well. So it's really cool to see EA bringing all of these games that look exciting. Speaking of EA announcing games, EA is also bringing games to Steam and now Apex Legends is the game that will be coming to Steam soon as now it is on the Steam page just without a release date. The game will also feature crossplay which is amazing and what everybody wanted so I'm glad that they're doing that. Not only that, the game is also having a new event that is starting tomorrow called Lost Treasures. The game will feature multiple modes such as Armed and Dangerous which is a sniper and shotgun game mode which has improved a lot as they reward sharpshooters as they deal more damage and play aggressively and they will only have Evo shields. And there are no respawn beacons, instead they are replaced by mobile respawn beacons just like Lifeline where you can throw the mobile respawn beacon right in the ground and you can respawn your enemy but the problem is you can use it only one time. Now this mobile respawn beacon is only restricted to that game mode but it will come in the future to the whole entire game. We also have a new town takeover that is Crypto's Map Town where you can see a 3D map of King's Canyon and you will also get to know a backstory of Crypto and by the end of the trailer we also saw the bunker opening which was mysteriously added to King's Canyon map in season 5 and now it seems like in the game bunker has a countdown so definitely something is coming out. What if it's a dragon that's coming out? That would be so cool. We also have 24 themed skins which looks absolutely amazing or maybe it's just me because usually I like the skins at first and then later on divide them which are good and which are bad. What do you think about these skins? Let me know in the comments. I'm so excited that Apex is coming to Steam but one question arises, do we need Origin to play the game? That's a good question to ask. Now that is not the only game that is coming to Steam because Battlefield games are also in Steam. Sims 4 has come around in Steam with all the packages so it will cost a total of 38,000 and we also have Titanfall 2 in Steam as well and all of these games are fairly priced so you can get these games and have so much more fun. We are still continuing with the EA hype train because there were some games which were not announced but we'll definitely know what these games might be as they were explaining what EA is bringing next with multiple footages. One of them might be Dragon Age 4 which people have speculated is coming very soon. Now all of this was based on the visuals that are shown in the stream of EA Play where the EA Chief Studio Officer Laura was explaining what EA is bringing next. She says BioWare creates worlds where you become the hero of your own story and as she was saying this, these images would pop up that would appear to be a part of Dragon Age 4 although we are still not sure whether it's the case but the fans are saying that it is a new Dragon Age game so we will have to wait because I feel that these games will take one more year before they can come for an official announcement. Also along with that we had a glimpse of what might be the next Battlefield game. During the stream Laura also spoke about DICE sets a bar for excellence in audio and visual presentation. We are creating organic epic battles at a scale and fidelity unlike you have ever experienced with visuals of a building getting destroyed, some debris and a lot of soldiers walking by in a scene, amazing visuals of someone's face which is basically how DICE is showing off how amazing our Frostbite engine is. Now this is very much possible that this is Battlefield 6 which many believe is a remaster of Battlefield 3 which I hope it is not but in my opinion the visuals looks amazing and we have to wait again probably next year to see if it is a Battlefield 3 remaster. Next up was a glimpse of what could be the next NFS game but first they were talking about the loading times of the next gen consoles and they took the example of NFS Heat so it could mean that NFS Heat is being ported to next gen consoles. 
and then came the most insane visual of cars that I've ever seen in a video game because they look insanely real and felt like I was watching a Forza Horizon video or something. It looks like this is the build that these guys were able to feature in the stream and if that's the case, the future of NFS is shining brighter than ever. Because the details in these cars are insane and it's so amazing to see that Criterion is actually going in depth with the details of each and every car. Now these games are not officially announced but we know that they're coming soon and I hope it's coming next year because I believe that these games need even more time to get polished and even get an announcement. Every week we are seeing so many insane games being announced and so many games coming to Steam via EA that's amazing and so many more are yet to come. I believe we are just getting started. So do subscribe to Gamer Connect to watch such more videos on gaming news and much more that we produce every single week. And also enable notification bell icon so that you get notified that that video is coming up. Thank you so much guys for watching this episode. Hit that like button and comment down below what do you think about this episode. Do you have any feedback? I would love to hear those feedback. And also follow us on all social media platforms that is Instagram and Facebook to get to know everything about Gamer Connect and so much more. My name is Gaming Madness and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.